this is the third video on the topic loops there are two different types of loops used in python first is for loop and second is while loop in this week we are going to see only about for loop so let us see the syntax for for loop when we so first we write the keyword for and then a variable so you can give any name for the variable let us use a variable i so we are just going to use one alphabet usually programmers use alphabets like i j k x etc uh, you can use words but this is what commonly they use one alphabet then we write these words in range open bracket close bracket and then colon just like how we used to write use in our if conditions so now let me repeat the syntax we first wrote for and then we wrote the variable i and then we wrote in range open the bracket close the bracket and then colon this is the way to write the for loop now after this we press enter tab key and then we write whatever we want for example let us now write print open the bracket close the bracket within quotes welcome to code pen so when python reads a word for it will know that we are starting a for loop we already know about range we know that it has to have a start value and a stop value so here also we are going to give a start value and a stop value excuse me so let us give 1 as a start value and 5 as a stop value okay so for now we have given a start value and a stop value now let's save the file and run the code so welcome to code panel is printed four times so what is happening here i know we gave some value and we know we wrote a print statement and it was printed four times not we it, it didn't print one time like the start value or five times five like the stop value so what exactly is happening how does this loop work and what is this variable let me explain using a flow chart a flow chart are very useful to explain how any programming language runs a program so i am going to explain python's for loop using flow chart okay so when we run the for loop in python it will come to this place to start so this is the starting place for for loop then python has to keep the start value in memory this is why we need this variable i ah so that's why we were using a variable there exactly so the start value is 1 so now python will keep that value in i now the variable i and the value 1 will be in memory next comes the condition section this diamond shape by the way this is called a diamond shape which means it is going to check for a condition you know how we check for conditions in you know when we write if conditions right like that so we already know about checking for conditions and how do we do that we use conditional operators correct it can give two values as output remember true or false so in for loop also we will be using a conditional operator and the conditional operator we use is less than and we check for a condition so if a condition is true then it will run this code block and if it is false it will stop repeating this loop and it will go to stop so now python will check this condition if 1 is less than stop value what is our stop value it is 5 So yes, one is definitely less than five. So the condition is true, and if the condition is true, then Python will run this code block, correct? So Python runs this code block, and what does our code block have? It has just one statement, which is print welcome to code panel. So it will print welcome to code panel for the first time. So it's printed once. Now because it is loops, it will do the same thing again and again, correct? that's what we learned about loops so what will it do it will come back here to the decision uh, to repeat it again so i mean to the condition to repeat it again so last time the value of i was 1 so after running the code block and before checking condition python will add 1 on to the value of i so i will now be equal to i plus 1 and the old value is increased by overwriting with a new value so now i will have the new value of 
so it was 1 before so we added 1 to it so it became 2 now i has a new value of 2 again we will come to the condition sec section and check if i is less than 5 yes i is 2 now and it is definitely less than 5 so the condition is true again so it will run the code block again and print welcome to code partner the second time after running the code block it will add 1 to the value of i again so now i is equal to i plus 1 so it will be 2 plus 1 now the old value of i is changed with the new value 3 again we come to the comment section and check if i is less than 5 i is 3 and yes again it is less than 5 so the condition is true again so it will print welcome to code panda again for the third time next it will increase i equal to i plus 1 so 3 plus 1 will become 4 so the old value of i is changed to the new value 4 again coming to the comment section and check if i is less than 5 i is 4 and yes it is less than 5 so the condition is true again so it will print welcome to code panda again for the fourth time again we add 1 to i and i is equal to i plus 1 will become 4 plus 1 so the new value of i is 5 now when python checks the condition again here i is not less than 5 it becomes equal to 5 so now our less than condition gives the output as false and now it goes to stop so this is how welcome to code partner was printed four times amazing right it is so cool i can't tell you how good it is we are going to write so many awesome awesome programs using for loops okay now getting back to topic this variable can also be called a counter the i variable so why is it called a counter because the counter will start with the start value first and keep increasing sometimes it even can be decreasing but it will go from the start value to the stop value when the counter value becomes equal or higher than the stop value the less than condition will become false because it has to be less right so equal or higher then it will become false and python will stop running the loop let's go to python again and run this code so now we know why welcome to code panel was printed four times for loop is a very important logic so i'm going to explain it again this time let us print i inside the loop and see what it happens we know how to print variables it's not a big deal so let me type print the value of i is percentage d because i is an integer right it has a number as a value and then percentage again i so we have written this inside the loop so every time when it runs a code block it will run this statement also now let me save the file and run the code so first i is printed as 1 and welcome to code partners printed then i is printed as 2 and welcome to code partners printed then i is printed as 3 and welcome to code partners printed and finally i is printed as 4 and welcome to code partners printed as we saw before when i becomes 5 it is not less than stop value anymore so python will stop running the loop all right very very cool so i hope you have understood how for loop works so we will see a lot more examples in our next videos okay so can i see you in the next video soon all right see you bye bye